So when uh, we're looking at tracks in the woods, um, especially in the snow where you can really follow where animals have been moving around, uh, and you're trying to figure out, hey, is this a fox or is this a dog? Um, one basic thing that I've started to look for is, is the fox going places you wouldn't expect a dog to go? Um, you know, dogs tend to stick pretty close to where the people are. Uh, dogs also tend to, they tend to wander around. Um, dogs, I mean, they'll go over there and smell that, they'll go over there and pee on that. Um, and foxes, uh, coyotes, um, they tend to have more of a destination in mind. They're on their way somewhere. Um, they're not just wandering around everywhere. Um, and also, um, they'll tend to just be directly out into the woods without any people around them, right? Um, and so the deer exposure fence we have here makes this pretty easy to, to spot. Um, where we've got a spot like this where you've got um, prints of some small canid, right? Some small uh, dog family animal that's going under a fence off the trail into the woods, right? So we're pretty sure that's a fox. And also when you look at the prints, they are shaped differently, a little differently than a dog print. Most dog prints um, are pretty compact. If you drew a line around it, it would end up looking kind of like a circle. Um, fox prints are a little bit more stretched out. You draw a line around it, it's a lot more oval in shape. 